federal case. It really does make me nervous because my daughter and my two granddaughters live here with me. Well, for the second time in four months, a suspicious fire has destroyed side-by-side -side duplexes in North Spokane. Early this morning, crews called to the 2500 block of North Denver, just a block west of Perry. And that's where a fire right next door was intentionally set back in August. KXY4 Jeff Humphrey joins us now live from the scene. And Jeff, as we heard uh, at the top of the show, neighbors understandably very nervous about these back-to-back -back fires. Lady, no one who lives here thinks it's a coincidence that both of these fires started into the carport and then burned into the adjoining complexes in exactly the same way. The fire next door was already part of an ongoing criminal investigation. The home that burned here this morning, the scene of numerous police department calls for service. Spokane firefighters were already battling a blaze on North Stone when the call came in here on Denver Street just after 5 a.m. First crew on scene had heavy fire showing from the back side of the uh, structure on the carport. Fire had gone into the apartment at that time. The apartment went up so quickly a dog inside wasn't able to escape. Radiant heat damaged a duplex just next door. It was right out my bedroom window. My windows were popping. It's the second time in less than a half year that Joyce Harvey's been awakened to the sounds of a raging fire. This car was torched in August. This morning's blaze is also considered suspicious and neighbors are worried about their safety. It really does make me nervous because my daughter and my two granddaughters live here with me. After the fire cooled off, an accelerant sniffing dog named Mako worked the scene. Investigators, including an agent from the ATF, took samples that Mako alerted on. Neighbors who don't want to be identified think the victim tenants are actively involved in drugs. In the past year, police have received 20 calls for service here. To see this happen, we're not surprised at all. As a matter of fact, it's probably a good day for us because that much less activity in the neighborhood now. It's a neighborhood that saw this home just next door burn in August. People who live here think these suspicious fires are being set as a form of revenge. After the fire next door, extremely not surprised to see what happened here today. Nadine, in the fire next door, arson investigators now have surveillance video of a white sedan pulling up in this back alley, someone getting out, putting a box that is out of view, and then the camera captures that box erupting with a bright flash, the cause of this morning's fire, and this duplex, it is still under investigation. Hmm. And Jeff, that fire back in August, you mentioned um, maybe set out of revenge. Why do authorities think so? Uh, according to a search warrant that we found in Spokane Superior Court, investigators think a man named Loki, that's his street name, set that fire back in August as a form of revenge against a woman that he felt had stolen from him. According to the U.S. Fire Administration, revenge or spite is the motive in 33% of our arson cases. Arsons alone are the number two cause needing of residential fires. Reporting live in North Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.